Hey, I'm Francesca Battistelli, and you're watching 117 TV. I lost my keys in the great unknown. Well, no doubt Francesca Battistelli is one of the busiest women in Christian music right now, and she's with us today. It's always lovely to see you. It's good to see you, too. Oh, this is the stuff that drives me crazy. Congratulations to all that you have going on Thanks. on a busy tour and then of course a brand new album which I'm so anxious to talk about. This is studio album number three, isn't it? Well, you know, this record is my favorite one so far, which I think is how it should be. Um, it's it's definitely, uh, I think sonically, a little fresher than mm. people are probably used to. Um, Your sound maybe. to me, that's just a great word for it. Your whole sound is fresh. Oh, just I you. love, um, there's no doubt when there's a song of yours that you hear on the radio that you don't know that it's you. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. You just awesome. have a, such a cool sound. Thank you. That's a huge compliment, <laughs> for sure. Uh, but I think it's kind of one of the more personal, most personal records that I've written so far. Some of the subjects, just being a mom and, and kind of delving in deeper, a little bit spiritually on this record. Um, it, it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's a more personal record, but also more fun, too, at the same time. So if you can have those two at, at the same time, that's kind of yeah. what this album does. The lead-off single is Write Your Story, which I do love that song. Is that a good taste or a good sample of what's on the project, or is there a lot of different styles? You know, I think it's a pretty good representation of... Um, of, of the, at least the feeling I want people to get when they hear the record, which mm -hmm. is encouraged and uplifted and, and like they want to have fun. Um, but there are, you know, some different sounds, but I think it's a pretty good representation. You know? Is there a story behind that song of how that the whole concept of, of writing our story and what's on our hearts or what God has laid there? Yeah, you know, it, it it's kind of just comes from my life um, sort of motto, which is just knowing that God has a bigger plan and a better plan than I could. Um, one of my favorite verses is Jeremiah 29 11. It says, for I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord, plans to prosper you, not to harm you, to give you hope and a future. And I've really tried to live my life that way. My parents sort of instilled that in me. You know, God has a story that he wants to write with your life and he has a plan that's better than anything you could come up with. Mm -hmm. um, and sometimes it won't feel that way. Yeah, and so we have to remind ourselves of that yes. sometimes, don't we? <laughs> it, we really do. And so, um, it's sort of just a, a, a statement of kind of how I try to live my life. As a, as a mom of two children now, you, you really are busy. You've got your <laughs> hands full, that's for sure. Yeah. How has um, being a wife and mom and kind of this stage of your life affected your writing? Oh, well, very good question. You know, <laughs> I, someone was asking me earlier kind of about my writing process, and I have to get out of the house to do it. I haven't yet figured out how to be creative. There's um, a little bit of home. chaos going There's on, a right? Bit of, yeah, a little <laughs> bit of crazy. Um, and I'm always, like, looking at the dishes instead of <laughs> at so my be done. guitar. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, but, you know, it's definitely, I think my kids inspire um, all the songs that I write because either <clears throat> I'm thinking about them as I'm writing the song or just kind of what I would want them to hear and what I want sort of imprinted in their hearts as yeah. they're, oh, sorry, as they're growing and, um, you know, finding out who Jesus is. So hopefully my songs um, are ones they want to listen to and then they have truth in them. You know? So you have added like a whole different dimension of perspective then in thinking about them and what you would want them to be listening to. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah that's awesome. So tell me what else is going on. So I know um, you um, are wrapping up the Son of God tour yes. and, and what's that experience been like? It's been amazing. It's been an incredible tour, you know, so unlike most concerts, I think that, you know, I'm a theater lover and kind of grew up that's where I thought I would be at this point in my life was on Broadway <laughs> so <laughs> this is a good little taste of that for me just getting to sort of see it all come together in such a unique way and um, God really used that tour and I think is mm -hmm. um, going to continue for years to come. So. You have so many accolades and, and too many for me to even remember <laughs> or run through all of the awards and things that you've done but um, you've been nominated over 20 times for Dev Awards I think you've won maybe six or so Something of those. Like that. Yeah. that is just amazing. What has it been like just from a personal perspective to watch God open these doors that have truly made dreams come true for you. You know, it is incredible. And I think um, looking back over my life, I, I dreamt some of this stuff, but I didn't really know that it would happen. Um, um, I have parents who probably did. They really saw this for me, but I kind of always thought, well, that's a nice dream, you know, but to see how God has, has um, 
answered so many of my my prayers and 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 dreams as a young girl and and really brought me to a place where um as wonderful as those things are they're not what drive me you know like he's he's brought those dreams that I thought that's going to be everything in my life and how he's really shown me this is a nice thing and I'm going to give it to you but I'm also going to show you that it's um it's not the main thing you know and and how Mm -hmm. my family and the ministry that we get to do together is really what matters and really why I'm haven't given up yet you know and (laughs) hopefully won't I just trust that the Lord is is gonna get me through each day and we all hope you won't as well that's (laughs) for sure way too much talent there well the name of the project is called if we're honest is there a story behind the name of the project like why you went with that yeah, there's a song on the record um, with the same name, and it's my favorite song on the album. It's just a, a very personal song, kind of unlike uh, probably the rest of the record in, in the sense musically. Um, it's about, you know, really this this thing that I think is so easy for us in this day and age in this culture is to sort of hide behind a, a projected image of ourselves instead of being true, uh, truly ourselves with each other. And as believers, how important it is to live a life of authenticity and transparency um, and, and really not hiding behind any sort of facade. And so it's a, it's a deep song and it's one that I'm passionate about and it, it's really uh, I wrote it as a challenge to myself, not just to others, but I hope that it does just encourage um more honesty and, and openness with each other as, as believers. So. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for spending time with us. Again, the new CD is out toward the end of April, and you can get it wherever you buy your music. 